We've decided to do our Mad Tom Sculpin in an olive color. This is exactly the same pattern that we've always had, except Jeff thought maybe we ought to do it in an olive, because in some parts of the stream and at certain types of the year, times of the year, the, the Sculpins are actually more of an olive shade. So this is the Murray's Mad Tom Sculpin in an olive color, and we're doing that in a size four, six, and eight. Good for smallmouth in all of the rivers. Good for sculpt uh, for the sculpin pattern. Obviously, would be good for trout in these smaller streams. Last September, Jeff and I were floating the South Fork of the Shenandoah River. I caught a little bluegill while I was landing it, a very large smallmouth bass, maybe the largest I've ever had on the end of the line, came up and grabbed that bluegill. Naturally, I didn't land him. I fought him for a little while, but what it showed me is that these big bass, like the small sunfish, the bluegill, that type thing, when I was a kid growing up here in Edinburgh, one of the old bait fishermen always used the bluegill for bait for smallmouth bass. I don't think it was even legal back in the 60s and 70s, but Mr. Will Downey used them that way. So what we've done this year is come up with the Murray's Magnum bluegill streamer. It's on a long shank hook, it's tied with the heavy eyes, it fishes deeply, and it's we're doing it in fours and sixes. We're actually big fish hunting because there's something to be said about big fish being fly. In that same vein, we are doing our chub because the Shenandoah River, both the North and South Fork, are loaded with creek chubs. In the last two years, we've caught more big fish than we, well, personally, than I've ever caught. But it's so good that we really wanted to take advantage of it. So we're coming out with a larger size version on this chub minnow, again, with very heavy eyes. It gets down deeply. Fish this below the riffles. Once the riffles get down in the main part of the pool, you fish this all the way down from the main part of the pool down into the tail of the pool. A very slow six inch stripping action where you crawl it across the stream bottom. About six inches every five seconds would give you the right action with this. And in heavy water or deep water, you'd probably want to go to a sink tip line. This year we're going to change our shad assortment because in working with the boys over on the Rappahannock, Ed Riccio and some of those boys that fish for shad practically every day, they have been doing real, real well with the Pearl Marauder. So we've kept the same basic patterns we had, but we've added the Pearl Marauder. And anywhere you've got shad, this assortment will take them very effectively. This coming year, we're going to stock the corkers in the cross current style. Now, those of you who are not familiar with corkers, they come with a felt sole on it for the boys who want to use that for the extra traction it provides. If you're in an area that discourages the use of felt, then they have the cleated sole that you can easily put on and replace with that. These are very, very durable shoes. Friends of Jeff's up in Alaska use these uh, to beat them around day after day after day, and they hold up very well. If you want one shoe that's going to give you the traction of felt, the safety of rubber, this is the way to go.